getting near a furnace that is at 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. The smells, the colors, the, the sounds, it's intense and memorable. My name is David Getchell. You're at the 2023 Siegel Design Institute Ironport, the culminating experience for students who took a class in the winter called Leonardo Geometry and the Art of Manufacturing. Some people might call it kind of a sandbox class where you get to go into this sandbox, you get to stay in the sandbox, but you can create whatever is available to you in the sandbox. We really, never really know what, what's going to be submitted for an assignment um, until it is submitted. My name is Adam Chen. I was making a set of elephants that form a menorah, um, just because elephants are what my, my mom's favorite animal, uh, and I don't have a personal menorah for me. It was like a little bit of a zen garden almost, but like a little bit more hardcore with scraping and everything. What point in human history um, did the engineers separate from the sculptors or the artists? One begets the other. I, I think one of the things as an artist is you spend a lot of time alone in your studio to then take this creation and transform it into this permanent material. You need to hang out with your friends and kind of have a party. You know, it forces me to be social. My name is Lloyd Mandelbaum. I'm the uh, founder and owner of Chicago Crucible, which is a fine art, iron, bronze, and aluminum casting foundry. And uh, I believe this is the fifth year of collaboration with the uh, Siegel Design Institute. When the furnace is all the way hot, we're just gonna add broken iron into it. When that well fills up, we're gonna open up the furnace, which is gonna produce almost like a waterfall of iron. Oh yeah, It's gonna be kind of a boom, 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 because once the furnace is going, it's just gonna keep melting and producing iron on its, on its own schedule, and we're just keeping up until it's done. You know, what we're pouring here are 3D printed sand molds. That's a development that's maybe 15 years old. But people have been making conventional sand molds for about 5,000 years. It's this kind of a new take on an old thing, but at the same time it hasn't changed that much. It's still literally dirt and fire. Okay, this metal has a history, but it wasn't born in the earth. Like, it came from billions and billions of years ago from formation in stars. When you're that close to the metal, whether you realize it or not, you're part of this long chain that's been going on for billions of years. When you're on the support beam that's holding the ladle, and that's filling up with 100 pounds of molten iron, well, the only thing you can say is you're looking directly at the sun. Just literally looking at the molten metal, it looked like lava, and as dangerous as it was, I like, you're not afraid in the moment at all. It's just kind of there. You don't see that color orange on Earth unless you're looking at molten metals. In the moment of pouring, I think there's something that creates that shared experience. You put on this PPE, this protective gear, and it's almost like you're suiting up as a team. It's almost like you're putting on the uniform. No matter what you're like outside of the pour, Water incoming. you're a team during the pour. I think the castings are gonna be really good, but then tomorrow it'll be like Christmas for everybody and we'll, we'll know the answer. These students are about to crack open their molds and they're about to hold in their hands something that had been an idea only weeks ago.
Fantastic. That is absolutely yeah. fantastic. That's beautiful. I don't care if it's art or manufacturing. The mold kind of reveals itself slowly. And as soon as it pokes through, you're like, oh, there's a feature. And you can't wait. You're like, you want to be that kid that sees uh, what the present is and just tear the box apart. But it has to be controlled. Oh, yes. Oh, it's definitely a celebration. And they don't want to rush through it. They want to see everybody open their presents first before they get theirs, right? Because they want to share that celebration. It, it literally felt like unboxing of like, you just bought something online, but like a little more exciting because you don't actually know what you're getting. It's cool to see everyone else succeed too, because like we've seen each other's designs and helped change and critique them throughout. I honestly was thrilled about some other people's designs more than my own elephants. Like I wanted to see the tiara come out pretty perfectly, which was really cool to see. We are all relying on each other to put a lot of effort in for you know, 10 hours through the course of the day before we even get to pour. <laughs> At the end of it, you feel like you've really accomplished something together. And you have.